Uh, anyway, moving on, I wanted to find out um, what's the background of the speed bumps? Uh, is there a way to get um, rid of them? Is, it, is that out of the question? Well, what I would say, here's what, here's what I would say to you. Um, certainly, the board of directors, whoever they are, could entertain them, yes. Um, my concern as a homeowner, and again, as totally a board position, um, is that, God forbid, you had an accident after removing those speed bumps. The HOA would be held liable because, you know, it's like, you know, in any business, the mechanism is in place for safety. Now, if you remove that safety device, somebody had an accident, got injured, a child, somebody's pet, you open the update the well, there's something that happened that, that made us put those in Yeah, it was a drag. It was a drag. It was a drag. We had several people hit trees, etc. Yeah, yeah. Lots of homeowners complaining. So basically, it's driven by a request. We are the boulders. Trust me, I don't like speed bumps. I've been very vocal about it. I don't like speed bumps. I've got different types of speed bumps. There's the one part of those. You can't hear anybody. There's the speed bumps that we all love in front of Lowe's that you can't go over unless you're stuck. Speed table. Right. Um, there's our speed bumps, and then there's some that have like speed mounts or speed yeah. hills or whatever they're called. They're nice. They should be modified. I mean, certainly you look at them and modify yeah. them. I mean, there's options. I, I agree with you. I have a small child with tons of kids by us. I don't want them not there. But these, not to out of a cup in the morning, and you can't, yeah. you know, they're, they're they not user friendly for the residents. No, I, they could be. They can be modified. Yeah, they're all in, they're designed for a certain speed. So the ones you see within the communities are designed to make you go down to 15 miles or, or less. If you modify them, you're going to be able to go faster. So it's all in the design and the speed. So again, answer your question. It's totally a board decision. Okay. No, I appreciate the safety. Uh, <coughs> seems to be one of those. And the last question I have is December 3rd is when candidates night. Candidates. What will happen? Yes, what will happen? The, yes. So, so when we vote by the 10th, is that correct? Yes, the voting is the 10th. Yes, and I mean, what year, when, I guess, Dan, is that the name? Mm -hmm. What is it? What's the agreement? What did you guys decide? You're going to consult with the lawyer. Are you going to put everybody's all 15 of the members for all of us to yep. read their. Yeah, well, it's all going in the annual mail. See, okay. all, that's, all that's in the mail. What I said is if. Uh, it's permissible pursuant to the statutes because there's a lot of regulations that govern the annual elections. And, you know, with uh, the ease of emails these days, we may be able to go ahead and, in addition to the mail out, simply have it online for people to see who the, all the candidates are as well. If we can do that, we will. Right. You know, so what, we did nine, or what was the last, uh, what did we set? What, what it's up to nine, yeah. It's up to nine. Up to nine. Is good. We expanded the board to nine, I thought you said Kevin. When did you stay on the board? Yeah, I think uh, two, week, two meetings ago, I think you guys brought up from Seven I think that's a good thing. Right? I think. Yeah, so, so that's good. So basically, the 15 come out and then not get voted, and that's the new DOD, right? Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Yeah, so the, the, the candidates tonight, very important. You know, everybody come. If you're all opportunity to ask that's questions, meet the candidates. They said no. Get a feel of who's running for the board, and then you make your vote the following. I'll get to you in just a second. I'd like to make a comment. I'd like to make a comment. When is our turn to speak? I don't like people on the board like Tina saying that. We are the other I'm sorry, I can't hear her. Well, he was talking over to us. I didn't hear what he was saying. I say, when it's our turn to speak, I don't like people on the board to say, oh, I don't worry anymore about that people, about that person, about that man, about that woman laughing or like we are. We ask a stupid question, or we are not okay to ask that. That's my point of view. I don't like some people the way they look at us, at us when we make some comment. Sorry. No, she makes a good point. I mean, really, we're going to don't be sorry. Don't do it. You're representing us, you know, and, and here you're showing your hands off. And it's something you guys, but I think we know who. Yeah. It doesn't get out of it, man. It's like. You know? And the last meeting I mentioned to Wanda and Lee, but every time there's a meeting, it always seems if the board, the management company, and the vendors are all against the homeowners. When it should be the board, and the management company. It's, it's all, it's, the, the residents are always on one side, and the vendors 
The management company and what is on the other well, side. I disagree with you on that. But, but that's I the way it seems. I Always. Think that, you know, I think that, um, not speaking for myself and for the board, I work very hard to do what's right for the community. I, you know, the committee that I'm on, we all work very hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and. I'm not saying you don't work hard, but that's just a perception. I, John, I don't think it's talking about you. I think, I'm an, I hate to see you go. Because you bring it, and I told you this numerous times, and I don't know you from Adam, but, but when you vote somebody else in, like Bob, it, and then you choose everybody's head, Bob, don't forget that you work for us. You're in that seat yeah. because that's it. Because we chose you. Well, in this case, we didn't choose you. So you got put there somehow, some way, on a mishap where all the board members looked at the six. I resent that. Yeah, that's well, okay. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying the way you can't do something. Something's got to give with these feeders in here. It, it has to. And we have to go to the sheriff's department. Whatever we have to do, I just want I want it to stop. You live on my street, it's it's a racetrack down there. Um, and I'm really done with it. On the security, I keep I volunteered, I'm on the security committee, we don't have meetings. Why? Like I said, I wasn't I don't care if there's two people there. We've got to do something. I understand. That's why we couldn't do it. Because nobody was showing okay, up. Okay, but, but and it was, I'm, was, was I'm willing to send an email out. Who I was told it was, it was a city we talked about it. And if it's only two board members and one homeowner showing up, that's not a committee. So it wasn't. Okay, but why can't we just get together and talk about Listen, things to try I'm, and fix if it? If there's no form and I'm on the board, if I'm voted in, I'll definitely start it back up again. Okay, but Absolutely. that's the problem. What are we going to be There's a couple people. But that's what it's been. It's, I keep trying. Wait, you think the security company is great? We we had to go up there the other day because my daughter was being bought, brought home by a friend. She just leaned over. I live at whatever, and they let her in. The other day, I'm driving in, and somebody's driving through the owner lane with their ID out the window, and they get let in. They well, they, they might know who they are. They might know who they are. If they know the person, they know the car. They know the person driving. They let them in. Listen. 
we, you can I see from that far away exactly. I just, gonna get 100% I understand security, that. But from where we are, how long have you been here? Three years. Three years. When I, when I moved here, we had break ins, we had all kinds of things I going understand on. And all, that. That's all that's over. Okay, so we, we got have, it to that level. Let's raise well, it to well, the next. Well, we need to talk about speakers. We have to get the sheriff's office to get okay. tickets. Okay. We can't get tickets. I, I think that's great. I think we should get them. They have to do a study. Okay. They want you to the mail. They want to get paid. You have you have kids, don't you want your kids? Yes, that's why we're speed bumps in. Okay, but they're still speeding. You can't you can't tell me they're not. I understand. So let's bring it up. Let's get them whatever has to be done. All we have to do is pay for the study. Then the sheriff's department is allowed to come in here at any point, and it's good because then they can also patrol through here and watch the neighborhood. I'm all for paying for the study for the speeders. I'm all for it. All for it. Christine will check into it. And then the last thing is what I've been, I asked Christine about, is non-homeowners attending the meetings. Non-homeowners. Renters. Renters or people who live in their parents' house or friend's house or whatever. Are they allowed to attend the meetings? No. If the renters are not. That's not what we've been told. Renters are not, but if it's um, somebody that lives in the home, that, that's, I'll have to clarify that with the attorney because if it's an owner occupying home and it's their family member or somebody that's living with them, then that should be a different scenario. I'm not positive on that. Somebody that lives in the Well, if, if, like John, if John Doe has a house, house and then John Doe does all the mortgage, does all the deeds, it's all in John Doe's name, and then Barbara Smith moves in, it, Barbara Smith moves in there. Now, she doesn't go through the HOA, she doesn't go through anything because the house is in John Doe's name. John Doe's already paid for the application. He's got the clickers to it, but they can just give it to, over to, to, to Barbara Smith. Are Why they are they inside here? They're not true owners of, they're not true residents. Right, and you're saying they come to meetings? Uh, yes, they come to meetings. And everybody in this room knows who it is. That was what I wanted to do with the fog, switching the stickers instead of clickers. But everybody came to the annual meeting and said, no, it was too expensive. I wanted fobs. I wanted, I wanted to have change the stickers. That's how we could eliminate it. Because the sticker would have went to the car, not the clicker. Yeah. The clicker can go to any car. I, that was a big thing I wanted. Everybody said no to it. <coughs> well, Matt, I, if, I, if, if I can see the property appraiser's office, and I can look in the property appraiser's office and figure out that that uh, John Doe owns six well, houses inside here, that. that's what I'm saying. You can't control who people can give the clickers to. And that's one thing we can't do. We can't control that. You can give the clicker to anybody. That's why I wanted to get rid of clickers. But everybody, we had the annual meeting, everyone went wild and said, no, no clickers, so that, or we, we want the clickers. So that got thrown out because we were going to do it with the fob system, where you would have got a sticker and a fob, and then it would have, as soon as you take it off your car, it would work. So we would have complete control of whose car has what on it and would have record of it. But, like I said, at the annual meeting, it got thrown out. So. Okay, but at the same token, too, we're past that phase where it got thrown out. So what do we do now in order to rectify it? We can easily implement that system. It goes together. You have to add the extra thing on. When they put the magnet out front, you get the stickers for the cars, it's goes right through the system. But I'm not even talking about the entrance inside the community. I'm just talking about people coming inside of your house. If you suspect that somebody is living a, you know, in, in a home that's an illegal renter, per se, let Christine know. I mean, there's certain things we could try to do. So no, I, I report it straight to the property appraiser. That's, it's not illegally. It's a family member is in the house, yeah. and the person attends all the meetings and likes to speak up. Right. And it's a family member. It's, so. not, it's not a homeowner. And tell Christine. Brenda, please. I need clarification. Yeah. If you're a renter, you filed an application, there's a, there's a deposit that's paid, it has to have, they have to have a certain credit score. I mean, it's pretty tough to rent in here mm -hmm. once you get it. Second, this is a, uh, I've been in Florida, what, uh, 10 years, and I was here, bought a home, and it didn't get prior to that, though, I lived in three developments, right up the street, one to meet up, right here, another. I was a renter, I attended every meeting. In those because and I'll tell you why. I'm subject to the rules. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I have to follow the rules, and if I have an absentee owner, I had to understand and know what was going on because I had to follow those rules. Now, if there's a mechanism, a communication piece that's going to these renters so they know what they have to comply with, like when you can park and you have to follow the speed and what and you want your dog and you know where you can be, then I understand. But I didn't have it in those communities. If we have it in this community, then maybe you can exclude the renter. If you've got a problem renter, which is what it sounds like, and you need the board needs to take that person aside and say you have a nuisance problem, right. when you're being disruptive, you need just like an organization. You know, we have to go mentor those that are not so play nice, that are not right. team players. Really? But I don't think excluding all the renters. Uh, well, I felt the same way as you, and that was my personal opinion. I thought, well, if they live here, 
then they have to abide by the rules, therefore they need to be informed. I did write about the HOA attorney, and he says, no, they don't have a right to be that. Well, it's up to the board. So but I can say as a, a renter in the past, if you want to read it, it's up to me. You can't yeah. read it, but I wouldn't tell but you did, where you did want you to go. But did you speak up about issues or get involved? No, but I have to go. But that's what I'm saying. That's the kind of a that's fine. If they want to attend, but well, they should be able to speak up. The well, or are they in a homeless plantation, HOA, and they're in there voting on the ballots on there, or they're in there giving their opinion For the survey. For the survey. survey. For the survey. The survey. So. Hey, but don't you have to have an ID? I had to register. 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 I had to Talking about surveys online, right? But you have but to, to the, you have to have an ID. I had to register. I had to prove I was mm -hmm. an active. I mean, it's not yeah. like you have to be disruptive. Yeah, yeah, there's the procedures problem. and mechanisms in place. Who uh, knows that we'll just yeah. find a way around it? Yeah. yeah. You know, you just have to be diligent in finding it. Yeah, there's so. definitely a percentage of renters that yeah. aren't registered. You know, and, and unless somebody informs us about it and says, hey, that, that house is a rental property, I think it's a rental property, and you give us the answer, we can check on it, there's no way to know. It's gotten a lot better, but like I said, there's always those that, yeah. that, that, will, that will find a way in. I know I have no more questions, I'm going to another one. Uh, on work for Kirk, I had asked about the permitting and what we were sitting at last time on the electric and lighting down the coal track in the back. Mm -hmm. Have we gotten any further? So we're we zoning and waiting for the landscape permit? They're waiting for the permits in zoning, still waiting for it to get approval. Thank you.